Now, in this uh, tutorial, we're just going to have a look at the ways of navigating the model that are available to us in Navisworks. So I've opened up um, the Revit file in Navisworks again. So this is actually the NWF file. So uh, we can see our kind of standard here. Um, this is at the full render view. So you can see that. Uh, we can change it to shaded, wireframe, or hidden line. Um, now the hidden line is obviously a bit of a mess. Um, so no need to put go for, well, we don't need full render, so let's stick it on shaded for the moment. Now, um, all this stuff is available under the viewport tab, uh, first of all. So we'll see that there. Now, in the Revit file itself, it contains a couple of 3D views here. So if we just open that up for a moment, you've got a view one, which is, there you go, it's a camera. Um, first floor section, front view, uh, sorry, ground floor section, and finally the standard 3D itself. So all of those are there. Now when you go into Navisworks, you'll find that these are available to you here as well. So under viewport here, you can go to 3D view and click on one of these. So this 3D view one is uh, that camera view. So we have access to this. Um, we can move it about, but it's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, pivot point, so let me try that. That's our new pivot point, so you can move that around. So any view that you have already set up in, um, in Revit will appear. Now there's a couple of things to be aware of. Um, for instance, my first floor 3D section is not coming up. Um, it's showing the whole building, so it's not hasn't actually opened it up like that. So you need to be aware of it. Um, there's the front view, so that's turning out fine. So we can maybe change that to shaded as well. Um, and all the rest. So those ones are will be available to you. So if you have some decent views in there, then great, use them. Now, um, what we need to do here is um, a couple of different things. Well, actually, while I'm on the point, what we can do is change uh, what we see and uh, save a viewpoint. So for instance, if I like that, um, what I can do in here is click on Save Viewpoint and give it a name. So note that it's not going into under the 3D views. These are associated with the model. This will be a new one. So uh, rear uh, of building like that. So that's the rear of the building, and what I can do now is uh, flick through these. To get this to uh, just flick through them like that, you can access this by clicking on that there. So save, load, and playback uh, will activate that viewport. So it might be handy to keep that open when you're working. Now, um, if we want to get inside the building, uh, a couple of options. We have um, a hide option. So I think in here we can hit hide. I can grab this and hide, and grab this and hide. So that's one possible option available to us. Um, but as you can see, it'll leave these things behind as well. Um, and then we can just unhide all there, and you get everything back. Another option is to um, start, uh, let's scroll back out of there, start sectioning the building. So let's just keep zooming in on that because I have it selected. So maybe deselect it, that'll help. Now, in order to do this, we need to go to the viewpoint and enable sectioning. Now, what it's done there is it's cut the building at the back, right here. That said, we do have planes available to us. So currently that's plane one, so I can turn that off and we get the whole building. So we turn back on and do that. But if I'm not happy with it, what I can do is click on the move button and then move it out. So what it'll do is it'll move that section depending on where I place this particular plane. Now, um, so we can do that for instance, turn off the move and again save this viewport as first section. Alright, so again we can flick through these and grab the various parts of the building from it. Um, now, back into sectioning here. Uh, let's see, let's see what two does. So two is cutting the building on the first floor level. That's cutting that there. Um, 
So we have a couple of different planes. I assume plane six will be at the back there. So for instance, I can turn on plane, turn that off, turn that on. Uh, let's see. Now, if I grab this, I can pull it out. And if I go to six, I can pull it this way. So I can basically just use these to adjust as you like. So I'm push that to there. So this will give you a look here and here. And again, we can uh, save that viewport. So second section. Uh, so they're planar sections. And of course, we'll have one along the top as well. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, so depending on your needs, you can use those. The other option we have is a box. So if I go to box, you can see it here. And what this is doing is drawing a section box similar to what you'll see around um, uh, around the object in Revit. Now, we can move this around, as you can imagine, so that'll happen. So we'll just see a little section of the box, and we can go up and down and all that kind of stuff as well. Now, to change the size of it, what we actually do is we scale it. So if I click on the scale button here, I can grab that, and just in here, well, you can scale it against that or you can use the triangle bits which I tend to use a bit more of this is very similar to working in a game engine uh, you'll see this should be quite familiar if you've mucked about with any of those so same sort of things happening here and uh, that is our box so again the same rules apply we can then create the view that we like and uh, say viewport so I'm going to call this box one now, once these are all in here, um, we can just start moving around as we like. So things like, um, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be sections. You can place your view into a particular room and, uh, and make any adjustments you like. So maybe if I scale this out, uh, maybe scale in that direction too, so I get the whole building, turn off that. Um, now what I'm going to do is just walk into the building a bit. So I'm just zooming in here. Uh, use my walk tool just to go a little bit further. And again, we can spin around our viewpoints. So maybe if I want to look, oh look at that. That's going to be one of the interferences. Uh, so here again, save viewpoint and go inside one. So that's it. That's how we can get around these. Um, and then, of course, as you're using the model, you can work your way through that, like so. Okay, thanks very much.